Alright folks, welcome back to the channel. Uh, one of the questions I get asked quite a bit is how to create a custom splash screen for your Tyrannus. And uh, I'm going to show you guys today how to do one for the new X9 Lite. Um, when you get your Tyrannus, basically well, you're going to see ATS. this screen. And if you can customize that. So a few things that we need to do first is we need to download firmware because the splash screen is installed when you update the firmware. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna to need to do is go to the FR Sky website, go to download, find your transmitter, and download, well, this is a good time to download the latest firmware. All right, folks, uh, I need to interject right here. The reason I'm going to the FR Sky website to download firmware is because the X9 Lite and the X Lite Pro have OpenTX 2.3 as of when I recorded this video and there is no official release of OpenTX 2.3. If you're doing this in the future or with any other radio where you want to install whatever public release firmware there is with OpenTX Companion, do that. You don't have to go to the FRSky website to get the firmware. I uh, just want to throw that in there. All right, back to the video. So we'll go ahead and download that. The other thing you're going to need to know is what the resolution of your screen is. And this applies to all Tyrannus radios, X Lite, X9, X9D. So we're going to go to the X9 Lite and go to specifications. And our screen resolution here is 128 by 64. Okay. So that's our resolution for our picture we're basically going to create. The other thing you need to know about the splash screens is it recognizes black or white. No grayscale, just black or white. And there's a couple different ways you can do this. You can do this with Microsoft Paint. You can create a canvas and you can resize that to 128 by 64 and that is our canvas size and you can go ahead and zoom in and you can make whatever picture you want or however you want to do this but remember that you can only use two colors you can use black or white you can't you can't have shades of gray so even this little dithering here around the sides that's not going to show up so it's only just the black pixels um, I'm going to do this in Photoshop just because this is, this is how I do it. There's a lot of different ways to do this. Um, choose whichever one works for you. So I'm going to go to create new. I'm going to do a custom hint one here. I've already done it. So 128 pixels by 64, and this is going to be eight bit color. Go ahead and create that. And I already have a logo that I use, so I'm going to try to convert my logo to something that my X9 Lite can use. And let's see, I'm just going to drop my colored logo in here, and you'll have to resize probably to make it, make it look right. I'm going to try to fill the box or do whatever artistic-y thing that you want to do. I'm not, I'm not a very artistic person, so... I'm sure a lot of you can do way better than I can on this. So there we go. There's my logo. And remember what we said, it's only going to see blacks and whites. So I'm going to go to adjustments and select a threshold. And I'm just going to turn up the threshold till I get an image that's kind of what I want. If you go too far, it looks kind of weird. I'm just going to go right to about eh, right about there looks good. Yeah. All right. Well, anyways, that's that's just a quick and dirty version of my logo, and we're going to want to save it as a BMP, so a bitmap. Let's save it here. X9 light logo. All right, I'm gonna save that. 
And now we're going to open uh, OpenTX Companion. I have version 2.3 installed. Download whatever version you want. It really doesn't matter uh, because we already have the firmware. So you're going to click Write Firmware to Radio. Click Load and go ahead and find that firmware that you downloaded earlier that you've already extracted. Uh, if you want more information on how to do this, check out uh, the video link up here in the corner. We're going to select that and we're going to use uh, another one from my library and select our logo. So this is what it should approximately look like on the radio when we're done. So take your X9 light or whatever radio you're trying to do this with, make sure it's turned off. Plug your USB port in and select right to TX. And also make sure you have check hardware compatibility enabled. Hit right to TX and we wait. You shouldn't lose any models. None of your settings should be affected. You may have new settings. You may have improved reliability uh, if you're if you are upgrading firmware. Uh, for me, this is the firmware I already have, so. Um, it's just going to, basically all it's going to do is just change the logo screen. I'm sure there's many other ways to do this, but this is the way I do it. It's pretty simple and it works, works best for me. And we hit close. Go ahead and disconnect your radio and turn it on and you should be presented with Welcome to OpenTS. your new logo. If you're if you don't see your new logo, hold down the menu button, and you'll end up in radio setup, and there is an option for splash screen duration. You may have that turned off, so go ahead and adjust that to however many seconds you would like it to be. And that's it, folks. That's all there is to it. It's pretty simple. Um, the only thing you really need to do is just figure out what the resolution of the screen is on the radio you're working with. And that's it. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, just a quick and dirty little tutorial. Um, if you want, if you have any other ideas of things you'd like to see or uh, things you're curious about, put them down in the, uh, the comments below. If you have a better way of doing this, like the hardest part I have is creating that black and white bitmap. Um, go ahead and... Uh, if you wouldn't mind, let me know. Let me know how you do it. Um, I know not everybody has Photoshop, but pretty much everybody has like a paint type program. Uh, all right. Well, that's it. Uh, like, subscribe, and uh, comment below if you have any questions. If you're interested in this X9 Lite, which I highly recommend. This is a great radio. Uh, check out the link in the product description. They are affiliates. They really help me out. Okay, guys. That's it. Have a good one.